maybe you should rethink what you're saying and what you're doing because you're not making any friends. You're making a whole lot of enemies. No, she doesn't want to be my friend. I have a uterus, I have those chromosomes, and I'm not a woman. You are a woman. You are a woman. If somebody had a gun to my head and said, spell croissant, I'd be dead. R.I.P. Anyways. Hi everyone, it's Samantha Lux. Welcome back to my channel. So my favorite kind of video to film on this channel is of course laughing at the ridiculous homophobes, transphobes, misogynists, all the different phobes just make for great comedy here on my channel. And I just, I, I feel like I'm never gonna get over it. But yeah, I was thinking back and I realized it's been quite a minute since I have gone onto the transphobic side of TikTok, pulled a few of my favorites and made a reaction video for you guys. <laughs> when I first started making videos like this, like reacting to trans memes and reacting to anti-trans TikToks and stuff like that, the conversation was a lot more civil. I feel like in the last year or two years, it's really escalated into, it's just a bit more intense now. You know what I mean? The conversations are, harsher, people are a lot meaner, and the transphobia is not just like, you're a man, it's like, I'm gonna kill you and your family. Okay, I'm joking, it's not always like that, but that's what it feels like, okay? Recently, the transphobic TikToks that I have been personally seeing on my little For You page are the ones that have cisgender women, yes, I'm gonna call you cisgender, you're cisgender, girl. It's the ones of those cisgender women, the biological women, the, the real natural females, pretty much crying about how trans women are stealing periods from them or something. I like, I thought you guys didn't like periods. I thought you wanted to get rid of them. Like, I'll gladly take them from you. Others of them are concerned about some drawing app. I don't know. Apparently somebody's like erasing women from their fucking doodle. I don't know. There's just been a lot. There's been a lot. You know what I mean? And instead of making a serious video about these TikToks, I mean, it's fucking TikTok. I don't want to. I want to just giggle at them because they're ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like, I want to just giggle at them because they're funny to me. <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I have about 10, 11, I can't, I can't, I can't count. I'm just a transsexual. I, I really, I don't know, like 10, 12, 15, maybe 30, I don't know. I have a bunch of TikToks saved here on my phone that we're going to be watching and giggling at together. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's do it. I post new videos here on my channel every single week. So if you guys are not yet subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Also, while I wait, how do you guys feel about content that is not necessarily trans-centered? I feel like I, I've made a lot of my content very much based around the trans community, based around trans topics, which I love. You know, I love being that. I love being a trans activist and I'm definitely gonna continue to do so, but how do you feel about commentary videos on other topics? Let me know, let me know your thoughts. Also, if you, are you done? Thank you very much. Make sure to follow me over on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok to keep as up to date with me as possible. And of course, I also have a Twitch. I play video games on Twitch all the time. Last time I wore a little wig, it was super cute. So if you like video games, if you like chit-chatting, if you wanna just hang out, you know, chat live, follow me on Twitch, we can do that. It's super fun. But yeah, with no further ado, let's go ahead and get into some of these TikToks, shall we? Okay, so the first one literally doesn't even have to do with the topics that I mentioned in the intro, but I think it's a good one to start with. So we're gonna do it. We've all got a lot of decisions to make. If you don't know Miss Beth Cooper, she has a channel, like a show or something, on the Daily Wire Network, which is the network that Ben Shapiro's on, Matt Walsh is on, all those lovely individuals. And she's dropping a new product. Let's see what it is. I'm going to make one decision a lot easier. When you're craving chocolate, there's only Jeremy's chocolate. And there are only two options. She, her, and he, him. One of them has nuts. That's it? That's all you got? Nut or no nut? What about caramel? What about white chocolate? What about f***ing? I'm blanking here, but there's so many more options. That's the funniest fucking part is that she's like, there's only two options when it comes to chocolate. When in reality, there's an infinite number of chocolates that are out there, like different combinations, different mixtures, different formulas, everything like that. Like it's, it's funny, you know what I mean? They're like, there's only two genders when in reality, like, it's not that simple. Personally, when I'm thinking about buying a chocolate bar and like considering eating the chocolate bar, I don't really want to think about men's nuts. Like that's just me. Maybe maybe you do, girl. But I have seen many a man's nuts. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to see any more man's nuts. That's all, I'm good. I'm going for the she, her, nutless, Jeremy's chocolate. No, I'm not. I'm going for a nice Cadbury Carmelo or like those little mini Cadbury eggs. Oh, so good. You notice that trans men don't go back and forth with natural born men, but trans women want to go back and forth with natural born, not no damn sis. You tell them, not the sis. Natural born women about silly, goofy stuff like having a damn period. Wow, okay, you want to be bleeding and having cramps. I hate periods. <laughs> Dead ass, like, I'm good. No, I'm all set. You can keep them. They're all yours, my friend. Where's my period? Let me just 
<laughs> throw it back to you. I don't know when this whole debate about if trans women have periods or not started. And I don't want to be like insensitive to the period having trans people. Personally, I, I mean, I'll just say it. I don't have no period, girl. I don't have a uterus. I don't like, I don't bleed, none of that. But also I'm not gonna sit here and be like, you can't possibly have a period. You are a man that wants to be a woman. You could never experience bleeding like I bleed. Your body don't cramp like this one, girl. My thing is, is like, I'm good. I don't want a period. You can keep the period. And if I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't want to offend any trans women period havers. But I don't think that trans women get periods. There's no uterus. There's nothing like that. I don't bleed every month. Just had to think a little bit. Definitely don't. Are there some people that may experience like hormonal fluctuations due to being on estrogen? Maybe, yeah. I mean, I don't fucking know the science behind it, but you could probably experience periods like symptoms from your hormones but say that you have a period it's just not accurate but at the same time like I'm saying I'm not gonna go and be like no you don't have a period I'm the only one with a period let them live their period having fantasy if they want to bleed let them it's just weird like she's so mad she's like these trans women just want to fight about periods girl you're the one that made a TikTok. you're the one that's crying about people having periods or not having periods and also it's just like it's kind of weird that these cis women, yeah, I said cis, I'm so sorry, that these cisgender women are so defensive about them being the only ones that have periods. Like, do you want a freaking trophy? <laughs> do, you, do you want like a ribbon or something? No shade, like nothing like that. It's just this thing, it's just weird. I don't know, it's weird. If you want to have it, baby, have it. And it always want to start when you trying to get you some, unless it's really light and you spotting some men don't care, but let them tell it they're swept down. They don't do that shit, they be lying. And I'm referring to just hilarious responding to the transgender woman talking about we gatekeeping periods and being women. Baby, look, if they want to call themselves women, cool. Let them do that. We know what it is. They're men trying to be women, respectfully. And we're naturally born women. Respectfully. She said, you're a f man, respectfully. You got a dick and hairy balls, respectfully. But let's not do this whole thing about facts. And not all of them do it, but too many do this whole back and forth because they trying to confuse you on their bullshit. And to me, it's all an agenda, even when it comes to people just living alternative lifestyles in general, some of them. But after we done told you to stop calling us sis, fish or whatever, but then you- <laughs> She's confused. Homegirl's confused. She said, you call us sis, fish, whatever you call it. No, 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 no. We're the fish. I'm the fish. You are a cisgender. A breeder, if you will. I'm sorry, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Am I? No, I am, I am, I am, I am. Next. As a trans woman, I don't feel comfortable sharing the bathroom with TERFs. And if you don't know what TERFs stand, I have- Oh my God, it's our girl, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Like the easiest fix to this. If you are genuinely uncomfortable using the restroom with biological women who don't feel comfortable with trans women who haven't fully transitioned, you could use like the male's restroom and it just eliminates all your worries and all your problems. You know, all your cute little first world problems. It just eliminates those. First world problems. Yeah, like being victimized and attacked in a bathroom. First world problems, am I right? And I've seen a few of videos by this girl. She just is mad. She's just upset. A trans woman took her man. Something happened. There's drama. I know. There's some sort of drama here. I don't know what it is. I would like to find out. I will be contacting her people. But like, do you see the way that they argue? They say, I am perfectly okay with a, a trans woman who was transitioned under the age of 12 and a half, who has been on hormones for at least 4.3 years, who has fully transitioned who has shaved their face and is wearing Dior foundation. <laughs> like, girl, if it's all of those different steps that somebody has to qualify for you to be okay with them, you're just transphobic. <laughs> you're just transphobic. That means they can get a little check mark. Ding! You're transphobic. And that's okay. That's okay. I'm transphobic too. I hate the transies. I hate them. You to try and stop me from going into a women's bathroom. Breathe, girl, breathe. The world just seems to be getting madder and madder by the day. See, I've been off TikTok for seven or eight months now and I'm just catching up on all of this transgender identity debate. And it's clear to me now that- He said, I went away for six months and the transgenders have taken over and I can't escape and now they're all over my TikTok for you page. You can delete the app. 
the far left are just as bad. In fact, please do delete the app. Please, we don't want you there. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're more than welcome to be there. Bad as right-wing extremists. And I'm finding that as a gay man, a proud gay man, I'm no longer wanting my G in the LGBTQI+. And that's a sad thing. That's a sad thing, babe. Bye. See ya. You wanna go? Then don't let the door hit ya, girl. And fix your frickin' beer. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. We don't judge people based off their looks. I'm no longer wanting my G in the LGBTQI+. And that's a sad thing. And this whole question around what is a woman? And in all of this madness, I feel the most for biological women who now have to defend their right as a woman. I have the right to be a woman. I have the right to be a woman. <laughs> like, no, the trans people have taken that from you. You don't. Your rights have been abolished, Miss Girl. I mean, sir. This man fully has no idea what's going on. He said, I heard people are mad at the transgenders and I also don't like the transgenders. So let's just, you know, let's hop on our little tickle talk and make a little tickle talk. <laughs> biological women have always had to fight a front on equality against biological men. But now we have biological men who identify as women telling biological women that they're not women. It's just... Who said that? What? Like, genuinely, sir, who who told you that? <laughs> yeah, trans women have fully claimed the word woman. Cisgender women are now just cisgenders. It's a noun. You look up woman in the dictionary, it's a doll. It's a doll. It's madness. Utter madness. No, it's not madness. It's a doll. It seems to me that it's coming down to two arguments. And one argument is science and one argument is belief. And in my mind, when you pair those two together, Science is going to trump what you believe. Then tell us the science, sir. Tell us the science. Break it down, why don't you? Science clarifies that gender and sex are different, no matter how you feel. But I truly don't understand why we can't just identify as who we are, which is... Slay, why can't I identify as who I am? A trans woman. Like, I'm just bored of this one. This one's boring. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. Can we go to the next one? I'm done. We're not boycotting Bud Light and Nike because they are backing the gays or the LGBTQ. We are not backing them because they are backing the gays. <laughs> I don't think that's what she said, but that's what I heard. Q, that's not what we're upset about. You want to know what we're upset about? The fact that they put a woman in quotes because she's not as the spokesperson for stuff that has no clue what it's like to be a woman. Cause here's what I'm gonna say. Are we talking about the Nike one? The, the Nike thing or the Bud Light thing? B Bud Light's supposed to be only for women now? Nike's supposed to be only for women? You're losing me. You're losing me, sis. Get it, sis? Cisgender? <laughs> you go to their TikTok page, February of 20. Yeah, if you don't know who they're talking about, they're talking about Dylan, Dylan Mulvaney, yes. 22, they were a they, them. In March, they decided to transition to a woman. And their very first day as a woman is a cracked joke. And if you don't get the joke, then you're not paying attention. Because if it was any other man that said those things, they would be hung out to dry. But because it's a trans woman, it's- a I hate to break it to you, girl, but men have been saying that for a very long time and have not been hung out to dry. <laughs> like, who are you hanging out to dry? Who, wh where are the men hanging out to dry? They're wet, they're moist, they have not dried whatsoever. It's acceptable. I'm sorry, I've spent my whole life being a woman. I've spent my whole life- Me too. Working hard to prove that I can do anything and everything that you say I can't. I spent my teen years walking around fearful that what I wore was going to get me attacked. I spent my 20s in bars with my hand over a drink so it didn't get roofied. You don't know what it's like to be a woman. You think that because a year ago you started taking estrogen, now you're a woman. No, you're not a woman. Until you walk a mile in any woman's shoes, you are not a woman. Babe, 
You want to see my blisters? I've walked many a while in your shoes, girl. Taller ones, taller heels, in fact. This is actually a perfect illustration of how misogyny does actually affect trans women. You think that trans people, specifically trans women, don't have to be afraid for their safety when they walk outside? You think that young trans women in bars and stuff like that don't have to worry about their drinks getting spiked? Because I did. And here's another thing. The LGBTQ and trans community has a lot of the rights that they have because of us biological women and you're trying to wipe us out. But she's just saying stuff now. She's just making things up. Where's the source? Who? Tell me, huh? Tell me. Tell me which biological cisgender women got us our rights. Cause if I'm remembering correctly, if you check your notes back to the lavender scare or whatever the f it was called, this woman abandoned lesbians. This woman abandoned the LGBT community because it made them look bad. You don't know your history, girl. So excuse us while we step back and go, no, not happening. You done pissed off a whole lot of people. And if you don't like it, maybe you should rethink what you're saying and what you're doing because you're not making any friends. You're making a whole lot of enemies. No, she doesn't want to be my friend. Wait, she's talking to me or Nike? I don't know, anyways. Girl, nobody wants to be your friend anyways, okay? No Fs given about your feelings. That's her username, if you were curious. I like that filter though. What filter is that? Filter are you using, babe? Also, well, it's not. Everyone that gets pregnant is women. Just so yes, they are. You have to have a uterus and you need to have a vagina to like, You are thing. biologically female. That's not- Why does she say vagina like that? She says it like with an F. Vagina. Vagina. Like it's a V. The. Female, that's not the same thing as being a woman, but I already know your views on that. You have so. a uterus and you have XX chromosomes. You are a woman. Who's that? Who's, why is she chiming in? Shut her up. Somebody get that microphone away from that woman. You are a woman. I have a uterus, I have those chromosomes, and I'm not a woman. You are a woman. You are a woman. You are a surgeon. They may be a woman, but those earrings are atrocious. <laughs> They're actually kind of cute, but you're, you're gross, so. I am biologically female. But I'm not a woman. I'm sorry you are confused, but you are a woman. I am and very I'm much sorry not people confused. aren't telling you the truth. I think this is fundamentally a major fundamentally. Girl, I think the only fundamental problem in our society is people not knowing how to talk and then talking on a stage. Damn. There is fundamental truth. There is male and there is female, and there has always been male female. When you die and someone biology. digs you up in the earth, they will say, Yep, yeah, that was a human female. Oh my goodness. See, they just don't understand. They just don't get it. They're like, I hear you. I understand you're saying gender and sex are different, but you have the sex of a female and you are a woman. And then you can just tell there's like no thoughts. I just, wee. Yeah, that's her. It's either willful ignorance or stupidity or. No, those are the options. Also, yeah, and that I lipstick know, is not your color. If somebody had a gun to my head and said, spell croissants, I'd be dead. R.I.P. Anyways. First of all, I love the audio. That's a great TikTok audio. I need to find that one. Well, now we've talked about the Blair White effect before and how trans people will like literally go against other trans people to be accepted by conservatives, blah, blah, blah. We get that, right? This is what I like to call the pearl effect. We'll call it the pearl effect. Like just pearly things, you know her? That girl just says the craziest shit she can think of. I swear. She doesn't believe a single thing that she says. She just says the most ridiculous, controversial, clickable things that she can possibly think of and then puts them out there because she knows it makes her money, it gets her attention, it gets her clout, whatever. That's what this is. And that's what a lot of these TikTokers are. You know, the, the young cisgender women that are going on rampages about how trans women are taking away what it means to be a woman and they're, they're ruining it and they're delusional and crazy and dumb and blah, blah, blah. Sometimes maybe they have some legitimate concerns but most of the time it's just like craziness like this where they know that they'll get a following for saying crazy shit like this against trans people. Transgenders are fighting for their rights and are oppressed when they're the most privileged and protected community out there. You really think that? Because if you really think that there's nowhere we can go from this, like that's just crazy. I don't care what people identify as. I have always respect what you want to be called. But the minute you call me a cisgender woman, bleeder, birthing person, chest feeder. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to hear the audio on this one. So basically it's like, but the minute that you call me a cisgender woman, bleeder, birthing person, or chest feeder, it's like, you don't know who you're, you're messing with, blah, blah, I'm gonna beat your ass. Super cute and feminine and womanly behavior, I must say. It's just so funny. Like imagine being this upset over a Latin prefix that was invented like in hundreds of years ago. It's just not new. It's not a new thing. We didn't make it up to like demean naturally born women. It's just the term that corresponds to trans. 
So yeah, you guys are weird for that. The bleeder one, I get. I get that one. I wouldn't want to be called a bleeder either, but I mean, you guys are the ones that are like, give me back my periods. I am the bleeder. I am the only one that can bleed. Birthing person, again, I understand. I wouldn't want to be called that either. Chest feeder, I understand. I wouldn't want to be called that either. But again, these are not terms that are being applied to individuals. Nobody's calling you that girl. Nobody. These are medical or legal terms that are used to describe the entire community of people that it's affecting. Oh my god, my, my dog is, I almost said my bird, because that's her name, Birdie. She is barking away down there. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's kind of funny when people are fighting fights that just aren't being there. You know what I mean? They're just out there in the battlefield just swinging, and there's nobody there. <laughs> like, where are these trans people calling you chest feeders, bleeders, and birthing people? Like, I do that in my little friend group chat, but I'm not gonna say it to your face. I'm not that crazy. Keep swinging though, girl. You, you disrespect that invisible entity in your kitchen, and we're the crazy ones. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I think that's pretty much it for this fun little reaction video. I did have some other TikToks that I found, but honestly, there were a lot of the same, like just cisgender women going off about things that just, I mean, really aren't real. And I don't wanna say that these things aren't happening. It's not a real issue. Like stop complaining about nothing that's happening because these are, concerns that people are legitimately having. So in all seriousness, I know I've been making jokes this whole time, but nobody is trying to take away what it means to be a woman. Nobody wants to call you terms that you are not comfortable with. And as a trans woman, trans women do not get periods. I'm so sorry. I don't know why people are upset about that one though. That was like one of my favorite parts about transitioning. I get to be a girl without the period, duh. But okay, you guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. If you guys wanna see more fun little reaction videos like this, not too serious, not too intense, just some giggles, let me know down below. Like I said, I post new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe if you are not already and you would like to be. But yeah, other than that, I think I'm gonna go. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.